President Tsai Ing-wen on Tuesday headed to Tainan with the Premier and others to attend a commemorative event for the victims of the 228 incident. During the ceremony, Tsai described the sacrifices of Tang Dik Song, who took actions to protect others in the aftermath of the incident, and confirmed a concert certificate of exoneration on the surviving family members of one other victim. President Tsai Ing-wen offers a wreath of flowers and pays respects at a monument for victims of the 228 incident. This year, the central government is holding its annual 228 commemoration ceremony at the Tainan 228 Memorial Park. Tsai was joined at the ceremony on Tuesday by Premier Chen Jianren, Legislative Speaker Yoshi Shi Kun, and others. Tang De Zhong in the 228 when the 228 incident occurred, Mr. Tan Dik Tiong acted to protect the people of Tainan by refusing to hand over the settlement committee register and by destroying the list of committee member names. He was charged with unwarranted crimes, and his sacrifice saved Tainan from falling into a more precarious situation. During the ceremony, Tsai also offered a certificate of exoneration upon the family member of one victim, bringing special significance to the ceremony for survivors. <laughs> Tan Dik Tiong sacrificed himself for Tainan, so I think the government's plans to rename Zhongzhen Road to Tan Dik Tiong Boulevard should be hurried along. Renaming that road is a very important issue. To commemorate 228 incident victims and to recognize their contributions to Tainan, the city in September last year established the Tainan 228 Memorial Park. Commenting on the establishment of the park, Tainan Mayor Huang Weizhou said the city is constantly promoting policies for human rights and transitional justice. These were the children of Tainan who went on to become heroes who sacrificed themselves for Taiwan. Implementing transitional justice in our daily lives has become a goal that Tainan strives for. At the conclusion of the 228 memorial event, guests one by one presented flowers and offered prayers, thanking those who came before them for their sacrifices and contributions to the freedoms enjoyed by Taiwanese today.